Hi, this is Dr. Ken Richter. Hey, we've all seen this. Lifelong couple, one of them dies, and the living partner dies shortly after that time. People will say, well, they died of a broken heart. So how true is that? Well, I had a husband and wife couple as patients. They were married for 66 years. The wife was admitted to a hospital for a brief time, and I made a house call to make sure that they were both okay. I entered the house and was greeted by their kids who gave me the details of their mom and dad's health. Their mom was laying on a couch while her husband was sitting in a recliner. He had gotten to a point where he had trouble walking, so office visits were hard for him to make, so I began doing home visits. Both were tired but comfortable. I left feeling that they were stable and in good hands with their kids. One week later, we got the word that the husband had suffered a stroke earlier in the week and with comfort measures in place, he died peacefully two days later at home. Then came the more shocking news when we learned that his wife of 66 years died 12 hours after her husband. So out of 66 years of sharing life together, they only spent 12 hours apart on this earth. We saw this most recently with George and Barbara Bush after being married for 73 years. Barbara dies at the age of 92 in April 2018. George dies November the 30th, 2018. It was said that he died because he didn't want to miss Christmas with Barb. So what's this connection? Well, researchers have shown that as some couples grow closer and closer over the years, their hearts actually beat in sync. So is this a broken heart syndrome? There appears to be physical consequence to extreme emotion, as you can imagine, a flood of stress hormones and adrenaline, and it can lead to acute cardiac damage and death as a consequence. Sometimes it can be the strain and drain that was required to take care of that spouse over months and years. When the spouse dies, it leaves a vacuum and the caregiver is not able to rebound. Now, naturally, there's, there's a depression that develops and an apathy and a lack of living, a lack of uh, desire to eat or take medications. All this leads to an increased risk of death. So if you have someone in your family that's going through this situation, guard their surviving spouse and make sure that they see their family physician as soon as they can after the death of that spouse. Many of these symptoms will lessen over time and there's gonna be a renewal of spirit. Also, cherish all your relationships that you have with friends and children and significant others. Don't take them for granted. This is Dr. Ken Richter with your Curbside Consult.